Hey guys, Joe from Worldwide Corals. Our friend Richard reached out to us about how we frag our zoanthids here at the store. We always recommend using eyewear and gloves when fragging corals. This is extremely important with zoanthids considering it has palytoxin which can cause severe reactions in some people. We also don't recommend using a bandsaw for cutting zoanthids as it vaporizes the toxin and can be inhaled. Another safety tip is not to cut zoanthids if you have any open cuts. For fragging zoanthids, tools required will be bone cutters, a razor blade, glue, epoxy, as well as frag plugs. There's two different types of zoanthids that we frag. The first type grows in more of a mat that can be removed from substrate and cut with a razor blade. The other type of zoanthids can be cut between the polyps with bone cutters. When fragging the zoanthids, make sure that the polyps are closed so you don't lose any color. Also be extremely careful between the polyps so you don't cut any of these stalks, which will slow down the healing process. After fragging the zoanthids, we recommend using Brightwell Frag Recover to help aid in the healing process. After dipping the corals, go ahead and put them back in the aquarium, preferably on a frag rack with lower light and lower flow so they can be monitored for a few weeks after being fragged. All right, thank you guys for watching today's video. Follow Worldwide Corals and Aficionado for this video series on how we frag our corals.